Chapter 14 Join the Movement In the past few years, the lean startup movement has gone global. The numbers of resources available for aspiring entrepreneurs is incredible. Here, I'll do my best to list just a few of the best event books and blogs for further reading and further practice. The rest is up to you. Reading is good, action is better. The most important resources are local go gone are the days where you had to be in Silicon Valley to find other entrepreneurs to share ideas and struggle with. However, being invaded in a startup ecosystem is still an important part of entrepreneurship. What change is that these ecosystems are springing up in more and more startup hubs around the world. I maintain an official website for the Lean Startup at leanstartup.com where you can find additional resources including case studies and link to further reading you will also find links there to my blog startup lessons learned as well as videos slides and audio from a past presentation lean startup meetup chances are there is a lean startup meetup group near you as of these writing, there are over hundreds with the largest in San Francisco, Houston, New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles. You can find a real-time map of groups here. You can also find a list of cities where people are interested in starting a new groups and tool to set up yourself. The Lean Startup Wiki. Not every lean startup group use meetup.com to organize a comprehensive list of events and other resources is maintained by volunteers on the lean startup wiki. The lean startup circle, the largest community of circles around the lean startup is happening online right now on the lean startup circle mailing list founded by Rich Colin. The list has thousands of entrepreneurs sharing tips, resources, and stories every day. If you have a question about how Lean Startup might apply to your business or industry, it's a great place to start. The Start Lessons Learned Conference. For the past two years, I have run a conference called Startup Lessons Learned, and more details are available on slconf.com. Required reading. Steve Blank's book, The Four Steps to Be a Penny, is the original book about customer development. When I was building IMBUs, a dog earned copy of this book followed me everywhere. It is an indispensable guide. You can get a copy here or read my review of it here. Steve also maintained an active and excellent blog steveblank.com brand cooper and patrick veloskowitz have create have created a short but excellent book called entrepreneur's guide to customers development which provides a gentle introduction to the topic you can buy it here gustaf.com or read my review here when I first began blogging about entrepreneurship, it was not nearly as common an occupation as it is now. Very few bloggers were actively working on new ideas about entrepreneurship, and together we debated and refined these ideas online. Dev McClure, founder of the venture firm 500 Startup, writes a blog at 500 Startup has an excellent blog as well, blog.500startup.com. Dave Startup's Matrix for Pirates presentation laid out a framework for thinking about and measuring online services that greatly influence the concept of engine of growth. You can see the original presentation here. As well as my original reaction here, Seen Elise writes the startup marketing blog which has been influential in my thinking about how to integrate marketing into startup. Andrew Chan blog Futuristic Play is one of the best sources for thoughts on viral marketing, startup metrics and design. Babek Navy writes the excellent blog Venture Hacks and was early lean startup eventualist. He has since gone on to create Angel List, which match startup and investors around the world. Other fantastic lean startup blogs include 
Ash Moria has emerged as a leader in helping bootstrap online businesses apply lean startup ideas. His blog is called Running Lean, and he also has a release on ebook of the same name. Both can be found here www.runningleanhq.com. Seen Murphy on early stage software startup skmurphy.com. Brand Cooper Market by Numbers Market by numbers.com patrick velaskovit on technology customer development and pricing velaskovit.com the kiss matrix marketing blog kissmatrix.com and hitensha further reading clayton m christensen the innovator's dilemma and the innovator solution are classic in addition christensen more recent work is also extremely helpful for seeing the theory of disruptive innovation in practice including the innovator prescription about disrupting healthcare and disrupting class about education Goffrey a more early work in famous among all entrepreneurs especially crossing and crossing the chasm inside the tor tornado but he has continued to refine his thinking and I have found his latest work dealing with Darwin, how great companies innovate at every phase of their evolution, especially useful. The lean principle of product development flow, second generation lean product development by Donald G. Ryan Harrison, the Toyota Way by Jeffrey Klecker, lean thinking, banish waste and create wealth in your Corporation revised and updated by James P. Womack and Daniel T. Jones, The Pupil Tycoon, Henry Ford and the American Century by Stephen Watts, The One Best Way, Patrick Winslow Taylor and The Enigma of Efficiency of Robert Canigal, The Principle of Scientific Management by Patrick Winslow Taylor, Extreme Programming Explain Embrace Change by Kent Bagg and Cynthia Andrus, Create a production system beyond large scale production by Tichi Unhu. The idea of the build major lean feedback loop owes a lot of ideas from manual warfare, especially John Bod OODA. Observe, orient, de decide, act. Observe, orient, decide, act loop. The most accessible introduction of Boyd ideas is certain to win. The strategy of John Boyd applies to business by Keith Richard. Out of the Crisis by E. W. Edward Deming, My Ears with General Motors by Alfred Saloons, Billy Alfred and General Motors, The Story of Two Unique Mans, A Legendary Company and Remarkable Time in American History by William Palfrey, The Practice of Management by Peter F. Drucker, Getting to Plan B, Breaking Through to a Better Business Model by John Mullen and Randy Commissar and Nudes. Introduction Number 1 on an up-to-date listing of lean startup meters or find one near to you or the lean startup wiki see also chapter 14 join the movement chapter 1 is start manufacturing statics and analysis are drawn from the block 5 538 chapter 2 define the innovator's dilemma is a classic text by Clinton Christensen about the difficulty established companies have with disruptive innovation along with its sequel, The Innovator's Solution. It lays on it lays out specific suggestion for how established companies can create autonomous division to pursue startup like innovation. These specific structural prerequisites are discussed in detail in chapter twelve. For more about Snap Tax C most information relate, relating to Intuit and Snap Tax comes from private interviews with Intuit management and employees. Information about Intuit founding comes comes from Suzanne Taylor and Kathy Sacroders inside Intuit. How the makers of Quicken beat Microsoft and revolutionize the entire industry. Cambridge Mass Howard Business Press, 2003, Chapter 3. Learn. The original five founders of IMUs were Will Frey, Marcus Gosling, Matt Denzik, Mel Gaimon, and myself. 
usage in the United States were even more concentrate C. To hear more about IMBU's early conversation with customers that lead to our pivot away from the add-on strategy C. A word of caution demonstrating validated learning requires the right kind of matrix called actionable matrix which are discussed in chapter 7. This case was written by Bethany Coates under the direction of Professor Andrew Rachel. You can get a copy here. Chapter 4 experiments some ex ex entrepreneurs have adopted this slogans and the, as their startup philosophy used the acronym JFDI. A recent example can be seen. Number three, I want to thank Caroline Berlin and HP for allowing me to include my experimental analysis for this new project. Number four, information about Kodak Gallery comes from interview conducted by Sarah Leslie. Number five, the VLS story was recounted by Elnor Rosenorth, formerly of InnoSight Ventures. Additional detail was provided by Akshay Mehra for more on the VLS, see the article in Howard Business Review. Number six, for more on the early efforts of the CFPBC, the Wall Street Journal, April 13, 2011, article for complaint, don't call customer, don't complain for, for complaint, don't call consumer bureau yet. Many dedicated public servants are currently working hard to incorporate this experimental approach in the public sector under the leadership of President Obama. I would like to thank Anisha Chopra, Chris Wayne, Toad Park, and David Forrest for introducing me to these groundbreaking efforts. Chapter 5 Leap. For example, CU Community, which begins at Columbia University, had an early had start. See, this account of Facebook founding is drawn from David Kerpathic, the Facebook effort New York Simon and Schuster 2011. Number two, actual engagement numbers from 2004 are hard to find, but this pattern has been consistent throughout Facebook public statement. For example, Chris Hughes reported in 2005 that 60% logs is daily, about 85% logs in the least once a week, and 93 log is log in at at least once a month. Number three, I first heard the term leap of faith applied to startup assumption by Randy Komitsar, a former colleague and current partner at the venture firm Cleaner Parking, Gofield and Buyer. He explained the concept in his book, Getting a Plan B, co-author with John Mullins. A carefully researched table applied for Motors magazine by Charles E. Doria, himself a pointer car maker, revealed that from 1900 to 1908, 501 companies were formed in the United States for the purpose of manufacturing automobiles. 60% of them folded outright within a couple of years. Another 6% moved into other areas of production. This code is from the Ford biography, The Pupil Tycoon. Henry Ford and the American Century by Stephen Watts, New York Vintage 2006. Jeffrey K. Liker, The Toyota Way, New York, McGray Hill 2003. In the customer development model, this is called customer discovery number nine. For more on the founding of Intuit, see Suzanne Taylor's and Kathy Scroder's inside Intuit. Number 10, for more on the lean Unix movement, see chapter six, Tals, Groupon, six million dollar gambler, Wall Street Journal, number three. The Trump minimum viable product has been in use since at least 200, 2000 as part of various approaches to product development for an academic example. See also Frank Robinson of PMDI who refers to a version of the product that is smallest needed to sell to potential customer. This is similar to Steve Blank's concept of the minimum feature set in customer development. My use of the term here has been generalized to any versions of a product that can be begin the process of learning using the build major learn feedback loop. Number four, many people have written about this phenomenon using ver 
varying terminology probably the most widely read is Joffrey Moray crossing the ch chasm for more see Eric Von Hippel research into what the term lead user his book the source of innovation is the great place to start is Steve Blank used the term early evangelist to emphasize the evangelical power of these early customers to the casual observer the Dropbox demo video look like a normal product demonstration Drew say but we put in about a dozen Easter egg that were tailored for the big audience reference to the Zonde and chocolate rain and illusion of office space and Zach K C D it was a tongue in check note to that crowd and it kicked off a chain reaction within 24 hours the video had more than 10,000 digs you can see the original video as well as the reaction from the dig community at the description courtesy of lifehacker number seven this list was compiled by my colleague professor Tom Ellisman at Howard Business School launching technology venture for a case of author disclosure I have worked with the following companies name in this book either as a consultant advisor or investor I have a relationship or equity interest in each of them artwork I am used Dropbox intuit food on the table what is an rocket well front I have additional interest in companies through my affiliation with venture capital firm. I have invested in the work in uh, in or work with the following firms as either a consultant or as a limited partner through these firms. I have equity and relationship interest in many more companies beyond those listed above. Five hundred startups: Kinnear, Parkin, Ghostfield, and Buyers, Floodgate, Gearlock Partners. Sarah Group acknowledgement. I owe a tremendous debt of gratitude to the many people who have helped me make the lean startup a reality. First and foremost are the thousands of entrepreneurs around the world who have tested these ideas, challenged them, refined them, and improved them without their relentless and mostly unheralded unheralded work every day. None of this would be possible. Thank you. Real startup involved failures, embracing mistakes, and context skills. In my research for this book, I discovered that most entrepreneurs and managers would prefer not to have the real story of their daily work told in public. Therefore, I am in depth to the courageous entrepreneurs who consented to have their stories told, many of whom spend hours in tedious interview and fact-checking conversation. Thank you. I have been grateful throughout my careers to have mentors and collaborators who have pushed me to accomplish more than I could have on my own. Will, Will Harvey is responsible for both recruiting me to Silicon Valley in the first place and for trusting me with the opportunity to try out many of these ideas for the first time at IMU. I am grateful to my other IMU co-founder Marcus Gosling, Matt Danzig and Mel Gamon as well as the many IMU's employees who did who did so much of the work I discussed, of course, none of that would have been possible without the support of millions of IMU's customers over the years. I also like to thank David Millstone, Canduda, Fernando Face, Steve Winston's Owen Mahoney, Ray Okamo and Jason Altieri for their help along the way. We all owe Steve Blank a damp for the work he did developing the theory of customer development at a time when it was considered heretical in a startup and VC circle. As I mentioned in the introduction, Steve was 
an early investor in an advisor to IMVUs for the past seven years. He has been an advisor, mentor, and collaborator to me personally. I want to thank him for his encouragement, support, and friendship. The Lean Startup Movement is made up of many more thinkers, practitioners, and writers than just me. I want to thank Dave McClure, Ash Mora, Moria, Brandt, Cooper, Patrick, Veliskovic, Sean Ellis, Andrew Cheen, Sean Murphy, Trevor Owens, Hitten Shah, and Kant back for their ideas, supports, and evangelism. Several investors and venture capitalists were early supporters and adult adopters. I would like to thank Mike Maples and Anne Mir Miraco Flood Floodgate, Steve Addison's baseline, Josh Kopp. Hoppelman, first round capital, Ron Conway, SV Angel, and Jeff Calavier, Soft Tech VC. As you can imagine, this book involves a tremendous amount of feedback, iteration, and testing. I receive invaluable, in depth early feedback from the Laura Tresimano, Lee Hoffman, Professor Tom Eastman, Sasha Jude, and thanks also to the Mitch Kapoor. Scott Cook, Sean Fanning, Mark Graben, Jennifer Carolyn, Manuel Russo, Tim Aureli, and Reid Hoffman for their suggestions, feedback, and support. I owe a special note of thanks to Rudd Kaplan and Ira Fay for their wisdom and friendship. Throughout the process of writing the book, I had the benefit of a custom-built testing platform to run a split test experiment on everything from cover design to subtitles to actual bit of, of the book. You can see the result of this experiment at lean.st. Pivotal Labs built the software for me. They are the premier practitioner of agile development. A special thanks to Rob, me, and McFarland, and most important, Parker Thompson, who work tirelessly to build, experiment, and learn with me. Thanks also to IMBU's co-founder, Marcus Gosling, one of the most talented designers I know, who designed this book cover after countless iteration. One of the premier web and user experience design from Digital Telepathy Design and build the website for using their unique iterative performance design process. It's awesome, learn more. And I was extremely fortunate to have the support of three legendary institutions at various points in my journey. Much of the research that went into this book was generously underwritten by the Kaufman Foundation. At Kaufman, I want to especially thank Bo Fishback and Nick Seguin for their support. I spent the past eight past year as an entrepreneur in residence at Howard Business Schools where I enjoyed the opportunity to test my ideas against some of the brightest minds in business. I am especially grateful to Professor Tom Eisman and Mike Roberts for their sponsorship and support as well as to the students of the HBS Startup Tribe. I also had the opportunity to spend a brief time with an office at the Premier Venture capital firm in Silicon Valley, Cleaner, Parkin, Goffield, and Byers, where I receive an in-depth education to how entrepreneurship is nurtured at the highest level. Thank to Shio Hua Chan, Randy Commissar, Matt Murphy, Bing Jordan, Alien Lee, and Alan Poe to my office meet and ER Grace reading. My research team helped me document case studies, interview hundreds of starters, and filter thousands of stories. I want to thank Marisa Porzig, who logged countless hours documenting, cross referring, and investigating additional case studies were developed by Sarah Gravis, Sarah Leslie, and Sarah Milstein. Traditional publishing is a complicated and insular business. I benefit. I benefited from advice and connections from many people. Tim Ferriss and Ramit Sitti set my state early on. I am also grateful to Peter Sims, Paul Mitchellman, Mary Tressler, Joshua, Michael Ross, Clara Shi, 
Sarah, Milston, Adam, Pinenberg, Gretchen, Ruben, Kate, Lee, Hollis, Himboch, Bob, Suton, Frankie, Jonas, Randy, Commissar, and Jeff Rosenthal. At Cron, the Herculean task of turning these ideas into the book you are reading fell to a huge team of people. My editor, Rajan Scroll, saw the vision of this book from the very beginning and stepped shepherded it through the entire process i want to also thank tina tina constable tara gilbride and meredith mcgenius and everyone else who work on making this book a reality those who have worked the misfortune of reading an early draft knows just how much gratitude i owe to Lauren Ronald, who who provide essentials editorial help on an unbelievable on an unbelievable tight scheme. So if you enjoy any part of this book, she deserves your thanks. My advisor, partner, and consulary throughout the publishing process has been made has been by Po. For phenomenal agent Christy Fletcher, she has the uncanny ability to predict the future, make things happen, and keep every stakeholder happy all the same time. She truly understands the modern media landscape and has helped me navigate its crazy waters at every turn of Fletcher and company. I also want to thank Alisa Wolf, who has been a tireless advocate and gatekeeper and Melissa Chinchilo who is working to bring this book to a new regions and language. I know it is a glitch to say none of these would have been possible without the con constant support of my loving family but in this case it is simply the truth my parents Vivian Resnick and Andrew Rees have always supported my love of technology while still insisting on the importance of a liberal arts education without their constant love and support i would never have had the courage to step into the void of entrepreneurship or have found my own voice as a writer i know my i no, my grandparents have been with me every step of this journey. They believe deeply in the power of the writing and took supreme joy in my sisters and my every accomplishment to my sister Nicole and Amanda and my brother-in-law Dove. I can only say thank you for supporting me all of these years. My wife Tara Sufi Mohor has been a constant source of joy and comfort every step of the way. She has experienced every stress, every high and every low through this very lengthy process. Tara, you are an incredible, brilliant, strong and compassionate woman. Words cannot express how much I appreciate your steadfast support, your overwhelming love and daily adventure adventure that is our life together. Thank you. About the author. Eric Reyes is an entrepreneur and author of the popular blog Startup Lessons Learned. He co-founder and served as CTO of IMBU, his third startup. He is frequent speaker at business event, has advised a number of startup large companies and venture capital firms on business and product strategy and in and is an entrepreneur in residence at Howard Business Schools. His lean startup methodology has been written about in the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, the Howard Business Review, the Huffington Post, and many blogs. He lives in San Francisco. Book and